Hello everyone, I am Vikas and welcome to Small Academy. In the first part of these tutorials, we talked about how to implement this simple layout and this camera button and whenever somebody click on this camera button, if the camera permission is given, then they can take a picture and they can display this image in the image view that we have given here, right? So this, this was the thing that we implemented in the last video. Now in this video, we are going to get the absolute URL of this image because generally we are just uh, getting the bitmap data from the intent data and we are just converting them to the bitmap image and displaying them in the image view. But if we want to upload that image to the Firebase or any other cloud platform, then we need to get the absolute URL. And now currently this image is not saved in the gallery as well. So what I'm going to do in this part is that I'm going to get the absolute URL and I'm going to select this. I'm going to save this image to the gallery so that we can select from the gallery. And at the end of this video, I'm just going to implement this gallery button that I have given here. And whenever this gallery button is clicked, the user can select the image from the gallery. So let's start. Now I'm in the main activity file that we have created in the last video. And let me go, go back to the Android manifest and here we need to ask few more permission from the user. We need to ask permission to write the write and read the external file from the user. Let me do that by using the uses permission that we have. And here I can select the read external storage, write external storage. Okay, so these are permission requests we want from the user. After getting the permission from the user, now we need to create an image file and save that to the external storage so that we can get the absolute URL of that file. Here we are going to store the image as a data of our Android app. Okay. Let me go to the Android documentation, official documentation and show you what they have given the recommended method of creating an image file from the camera. I'm going to copy from here. Okay. So we need to write same code. So instead of writing this, I'm going to copy from here and paste just below the on activity result. Let me import the required file and classes. And we also need this dispatch take picture intent method. So this method is going to open the camera and save our image file into the directory. And I'm going to paste that exactly below the create image file method. And I'll import all the classes that we need file provider as well. Now just copying this method is not enough. We also need to implement few more things. So let me go back here in the Android documentation and here you can see they are saying we need to configure the file provider in our app manifest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this provider block of code and go back to my Android manifest file. And just after this activity inside application, I will paste the provider code and here we need to fix this. So it is using Android support library, but we are using Android Android X library. So I just need to fix that. So I'm going to fix that by using, if I search file provider, it will display the file provider link that we need. So this is Android X dot content dot file provider. And you can see here in the inside the metadata, we are getting some error here. So we need to create this file paths. So we also need to create one file path inside the XML resource file. So let me go back here in the Android Studio. Inside the resources, I'm going to create new XML resources or Android resource file and uh, just select XML as the resource type. And uh, let me copy the same file name that is file paths. Okay. Now click on OK and in inside this XML file, we need to add a few line of code that actually going to specify where our image is going to be saved. So let me paste the actual code that we need. So this is the path resource file we need. Okay. Now if we, if I go back here and 
the error is gone. To go back to the Android main activity dot Java, and here now we can actually implement these two methods that we have just created. Now I'm going going to give you just the brief description of what this code is and what it is doing. In the first line of code here, we are creating the timestamp. So this timestamp, we are just going to give this timestamp to create the file name. So it's not actual necessary. If you want to give just some generic file name to the file, then you can give that. But here. I'm creating this uh, simple date format to get the timestamp and after that I'm creating the image file here and the image file starts with the JPEG name and underscore plus timestamp whatever timestamp we have created here. After that we need to get the storage directory where we want to save our file. Here we are finally creating an image file. So using the method of file that is create temp file and inside that we are passing few parameters that is image name that we have created here and the suffix that is the extension that we want from for our image in, uh, in our case we are using the jpeg file but you, you can also use the png file as well and other supported image mime and at last we are giving the directory to save the image so using the image file image.get absolute path we are getting the absolute path of the image where image is saved and using that path we can display that image in the image view or upload that to the server finally we are returning the image now uh, here you can see we are creating one request take photo request code but we don't don't actually need it i have already created that here if i go to the top i have already created this camera request code instead of using this request take photo i'm just going to use my version of request code that is cam camera request code now we need to call these files so this create image file is already created inside this dispatch take picture intent so i just need to call this dispatch take picture intent in my uh, method where i have opened the camera so instead of opening the camera i'm go i'm going to delete this open camera method and instead of, instead of op uh, calling the open camera i'm going to call this method that we have here so dispatch take picture and inside this i'm going to replace that by dispatch take picture put the semicolon at the end now i need to display the absolute url of the image so i'm just going to display that absolute url in the log and also i, I will uh, also here instead of getting this uh, image data from this intent data i'm just going to display the image from the url that we 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 will get from the absolute url so it will be more clear and if you look closely you can see this image is kind of distorted because this is just a thumbnail image it is not actual image of full size so Instead of displaying this image here, I'm going to uh, display the image from the URL that we will get from the, I'll just put this variable in the top of the file so as a global variable because we need to use that in the other part of the method here. Now inside this dispatch take picture intent, we are creating the new camera intent here, just like how I had created in the last video. So, and we are checking if the camera package this line of code what it does is it is going to check if the camera is actually present in the device or not if the device is ready to give the camera resources to the our application we are creating the photo file and initializing that to the null here because the this create image file can throw the io io exception here that's why we are putting that into the try cache block and we are creating this photo file and assigning that to the create email image file which actually returned the image with the file name and after that if photo file is created that means if photo file is not null then we are going to create a photo uri and using the file provider that we have given to our application we are going to get the url of the file and we are putting that url of the file into the media store dot extra output so using this media store dot extra output we can provide extra input to the our intent that is take picture intent here and we can get that later and we are restarting the activity with the camera permission code request code okay so hopefully you understood what it is if not you can go to the documentation and read for yourself because they are they have given the more complete uh, explanation on this okay now instead of using this bitmap i'm just going to get the absolute url so before that i, I want to check if the uh, result code is okay or not so result code is equals to equals to activity dot okay result dot okay so it means that we have sorry i need to use the result code and we are uh, comparing that to the result dot okay if that is true then i'm gonna get create the new file 
let's say f new file from the foot current photo path that is the part written by the our uh, image file here that what we have created here it is have the current photo path that is the absolute part of the photo now i can set that photo to the image view so let me select the image view and uh, i'm gonna set image from the uri and i can get the uri from the uri class dot from file and i'm going to pass the file here that is the f so now i'm gonna run this app and uh, show you the difference so just now i will run the app and uh, take new picture and you can see the difference by yourself i tried to run this app and i got this error here it says the install failed due to conflicting provider you may not get, get this error because you are installing this app for the first time but i have already created another version of this app so and in that app i had given the file provider as the same url as i have given here so that's why it is uh, giving me the conflicts so i need to change that so in the manifest file i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna change this package name so i'm just gonna gonna copy my actual package name here and i'm gonna paste that here okay and i also need to change that package name here in the main activity file so let me paste here okay now if i run this app it should run okay the app is running now and uh, let me go here and try to open the camera and see what happens okay the camera is opening now and i'm gonna take the picture and try to save this and it should save the high resolution uh, image file into our image view